Daly saw the danger, but he didn't, didn't get his head to it. It fell nicely for Babayaro. And there was some great cover applied by Sebastian Perez. Good looking one, it was too. And Gustavo Poyet, who is just about as good a header of the ball as there is in this league, actually clips the post on its way out. Ferrer spread it. Daly stepped in, but only at the expense of a free kick. Really tucked inside then, Christian Daly. There are four in the wall, and there are plenty of Chelsea bodies in the way. Zola! Tim Flowers didn't even see it. Training ground hard work, pays off for Chelsea early here. He knew all about the threat, Flowers, and he could do absolutely nothing. Look how many bodies tried to obscure his view, and that's a poor place for a goalkeeper to concede. Frankly, Zola, by his standard, did not produce his very best, but it was good enough here. But it's enough to give Chelsea a one nothing lead away from home. LeBeau loves to come forward with it. He'll continue his run here. And he found a great ball in a tight area. This is picture book stuff from Chelsea and off the line to deny them what would have been an outstanding goal. Somehow, from somewhere, Blackburn need to get a strike on target. Even to hit the target, which might restore a bit of belief. Spread wide by Sherwood to Wilcox. But they'll have to track out. Davidson forward, overhit, fell to Darlene. This might be better. Suddenly it's a whole lot better. Chris Sutton is back in business. And Blackburn are level in this one. Well, a half chance created out of nothing here. That should have been cleared by LeBeuf and it wasn't. Very sharp from Darlene. Brilliant first touch from Sutton, made space for himself. And on 23 minutes, Blackburn's confidence gets a huge boost. It's Sutton's first of the season. And a timely reminder to the England management. LeBeuf's misheader, and Dubry had to be alert. So too did Ed De Hoy. Excellent strike from Gary Flitcroft, still looking for his first of the campaign. Well read by Daly. LeBeuf. Martin Daly nicked it. It's one and one. How well De Hoy did. It's not past yet the danger. Down into Sherwood. He went again. LeBeuf took charge and did so well. Well, it must have been hard for Martin Darling, not even expecting this morning to play. Little step over from him, lovely Blackburn move, and that is a big chance squandered. Ferrer. Wise did well to take over. Dennis Wise needs to find a quality cross. Christian Daly got all his bearings right. Fell to Babayaro, Zola may be in here. Flowers made contact. Chelsea penalty. And I don't think Peter Jones had any doubt. Frank LeBeuf against Tim Flowers then. They scored from a free kick early in the first period here to go in front. They're back in front from the penalty spot early in the second half. And Roy Hodgson is furious about the penalty decision. But telltale sign, perhaps, there was no big protest from Tim Flowers. Zola never looked favourite here, but he kept coming, and even though he was going almost away into the corner flag, Flowers came through with his challenge. Coolly done by the French World Cup star.
Wilcox came short. He wants it back. Nice little running off the ball from Wilcox. Out as far as Sutton. Good Blackburn move doesn't produce anything except a throw in. Davidson. The Hoy changed his mind and went back, and that was a terrible mistake. Out of nothing, it's two apiece. Chelsea's soft centre was exposed then. Sebastian Perez first goal in Blackburn's colours. And they won't come much easier than that. Well, they didn't give up on the lost cause then, and that swung it their way. All Sebastian Perez had to do was get himself in the right place to finish it off. Once they got the goal in the first half, Blackburn Rovers were a different side. What will happen this time? It's Sutton. Fantastic save from Ed De Hoy. One of the best Blackburn moves of the night. Did Perez take man or ball? He says ball. Rousseau doesn't agree. And the opinion of the referee is final here. Definitely man. Second yellow card for a Blackburn player tonight. No permanent damage done to Lasso. Hey, hey. Well, that action by Graham Lasso speaks for itself. The retaliation after the earlier foul by Perez. And if you raise your hand, you know the consequences. Now, what will follow for Perez when he pulls himself to his feet? Yellow. But is that not a second yellow? Certainly both players were aggressing. Philip. Roy Hodgson is absolutely furious. And he's going to find himself in hot water as well. Perez is on his way off for a second yellow card. And Stephen Lodge, the fourth official on the dugout side, may well be about to book Hodgson as well. And it's a Chelsea throw after all of that. Been a tough night for Roy. And they will not be worried by Kaziragi's goal round at present. Here's Darling at the other end. He went down right in front of the referee, Peter Jones. Blackburn get the penalty decision. Michael Dubry's mistake leaves it to Chris Sutton. the striker's responsibility fulfilled by Chris Sutton Blackburn go in front for the first time and punish Michael Dubry's slip Sutton took responsibility here so well he's not smiling yet but he's feeling better but the predictable cry is Sutton for England if Blackburn go on to win, he will be on all the back pages in the morning in the sports press. Well, they had a very disappointing night here last Tuesday night in the UEFA Cup against Lyon. Blackburn beaten at home and they face a really tough job in Europe to claw back a one-goal deficit. But if they can win a game here... will surely be lifted for that one. Loudrock's ball in! 
with his very first touch, Tony Andrew Flo levels it all again at 3 3. On 83 minutes, Flo's first of the season and an absolute beauty. Loudrop the creator, one expert cross, and Flo getting across his marker. Magnificent finish. 3-3, and I'm not going to dare tell you I think it will finish 3-3. Five minutes left, plus injury time, and stoppage time for sendings off and so on and bookings. Could be a while yet. Tori Andre Flo is onside here. Chelsea go back in front. It's two in five minutes from Tori Andre Flo. And what a cool finisher this man is. Straight down the middle between the centre half and full back. Flo had the strength and balance. How well he does here. What a good first touch. He wasn't helping out Loudrop, he went on his own narrow side around the keeper. Magnificent, magnificent finish. That was one Viali would have been delighted with had he been out there. But so much for the tight at the back policy that may help Chelsea toward their ultimate aim, the Premier League title. So much for grinding it out away from home. So much for cutting back on the entertainment in the interest of effective winning football. They may get a fifth here. What a save by Flowers. It's not finished with yet, or even now. Blackburn get a life. 